Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 photos only a genius can solve. How smart do you think you are? Well, it doesn't matter because that question will be answered at the end of this video. Get ready to be surprised and have your mind blown as we check out some photos only a true genius will be able to work out. But first, why not subscribe and turn on notifications too? Coming in at number 10 is Parking Spot. This one seems tricky on the surface, but this question is really super easy. It's all about logic and it tests how quick thinking your mind is. Here's the question, look at this image and tell me what number the parking spot would be if the car wasn't in the way. I'll give you a moment to work it out, or you can pause it if you want more time. Did you get it? If not, prepare to do a face palm, as it's so obvious. To get the answer, all you had to do was turn the numbers around. You will then realize the parking lot number was 87. Think about the way the numbers would be facing the cars in the parking lot, and you'll realize they would be the other way up. This photo is tricky, but if you did get it, then you have a very logical and possibly genius mind. And if you didn't, chances are you feel pretty dumb seeing as it's so obvious once you get the actual answer. Don't worry if you did get this wrong though, I did too when I first saw it. Next up is Matches. This photo is a mind-bending optical illusion, but if your brain and eyes can see past the trickery in this image, you could be a genius. Take a look at this photo of a Zippo and some matches. You can see the matches scattered around and some reflected in the lighter, but how many matches really are there in the photo? I'll give you a moment to think about it, but you can always pause if you'd prefer. So, how many do you think there was? The most common answers people give are either 6 or 10, but these are both wrong. The actual answer is, there are 8 matches. You of course don't count the ones that are reflected, but there are some real matches that join up with reflections or other matches, making this really confusing. Did you get this one right? If you did, you're very visually aware and your brain is diverse and adaptable. But if you failed, have no fear, we have a few questions to go. Next up is London. London is my hometown, so I'd be really embarrassed if I got this one wrong. This one is a spot the difference question. But before you get too confident, this isn't something you'd find in a children's book. This was made by a psychologist, and it's regarded as one of the hardest spot the difference photos ever created. I'm going to give you a short while with the images, and you can try and spot the difference. But if you need more time, you can always pause it if you want. Now for the answers. Did you spot any differences? There were actually four differences between these two images which are very hard to spot, especially if you're not from London. The first difference is that one pillar of the Houses of Parliament is missing in the right image. And in the right image, the time has also been changed. The bus number on the left is 143, but on the right it says 203. And finally, in the right image, the cloud from the left image is missing. If you got at least three of these differences, then you may be a genius. This is because you're very precise when it comes to attention to detail, and you have a great subconscious memory. Next up is color. This one is easy in theory, but it can still test your intelligence. However, this doesn't test your learnt intelligence, but the intelligence and brain power you were simply born with. Only 5% of people can actually get this one right, so don't worry if you don't manage it. As you can see here, there's an 8x5 grid of 40 red squares, but one of these squares is a different color. See if you have a magic eye by tracking down the differently colored square. I'll give you a moment to look, but you can pause if you want. The correct answer was, it's this square that's a different colour. If you have a great eye, you'll be able to see this square is a slightly darker red while the other squares are more light. Some opticians have actually been known to use similar tests to these to test if people are colourblind or not. So if you still can't see the difference even after I pointed it out, maybe you're colourblind. But how does seeing this colour make you a genius? Well if you can differentiate this colour from others, this means you were born with great visual awareness and have great attention to detail. Next up is How Many Girls. This is another crazy repetition and reflection optical illusion that will melt your mind. It was taken by an Instagrammer, but after she uploaded it, the image went viral. So many people online and in real life argued about how many girls are in this image. But there is a definite answer that may shock you. See if you can work it out or not. I'll give you a little time, but pause it if you want. Most people answer that there are either 4 or 14 girls. 
But no, surprisingly, there are only two girls. The reason why this crazy infinite mirror effect is created is because there are mirrors on both sides of the girls. The same effect is sometimes done in elevators to make them appear more roomy, but when similar looking people are in an area like this, it can create an amazing illusion. The thing that really makes this illusion work is that the older girl's face can't be seen, making it look like her reflection could be somebody else. So thank the girl facing away for making us all look like a bunch of idiots. Next up is Fine Spongebob, who is everyone's favourite cartoon sponge. You guessed it, Spongebob. Unfortunately though, that was not the riddle. This is. This is a screenshot from the Minions movie by Disney, but hidden amongst all those Minions is Spongebob. This is another visual test to see if you're a genius or not. So if you feel up to the challenge, answer the question, where is Spongebob? I'll give you a moment to look for him, but as always, pause if you want to. Spongebob is actually hiding up in the top right corner. The funny thing is, most people don't get this, but it's not just because Spongebob kind of looks like a minion. The people who do get this have great visual awareness and brain separation skills. This is where the brain can easily decipher certain objects from other objects. It's a skill you might not use every day, but it's pretty cool to be able to show off your genius eyes and brain to your friends. Some jobs specifically look for people who can do this, such as the army and even surveillance footage operators. But unfortunately, something tells me army boot camp isn't just spotting Spongebob images. If it was, then sign me up! Next up is the painting. This is another spot the difference image, but it's said that 99% of people get this one wrong. But if you think you're up for the challenge, here are the images. I'll give you some time to spot the difference, but if you prefer, you can always pause. So, did you find the difference? This is one of the most difficult spot the difference images ever, but the difference is this tiny mouse hole by the woman's legs. If you got this, it shows you're very perceptive and can think outside the box. This is because most people simply look at and around the woman and don't consider the whole image. But the fact that you did is a good thing and may very well mean you're a genius. But if you failed on this one, don't worry, there's still a couple to go. Next up is Which Way. This photo is an animated image which has gone viral many times. It's taken in London, but don't worry, this isn't another tricky spot the difference test. Have a look at this train and tell me what direction it's going in. I'll give you some time to really look at it. Trust me, it will make sense later. So now that you've had your time to give this image a good look, answer this. Did you see the train going right or left? So, now you've had some time to give this image a good look, answer this. Did you see the train going right, left, or could you change the direction it was going in with your mind? To be honest, it doesn't matter whether you saw the train going right or left. But if you concentrated and were able to change the direction it was going in with your mind, then this suggests you may be a genius. This shows you have a strong mind and you're very perceptive when it comes to visual things. This is actually an optical illusion and the train is going in a loop, not from right to left or from left to right. However, if you were able to change your perception on your own, this suggests some serious brain power. Next up is Prisoner. So, this video has been all about testing your logic and quick thinking to see if you're a genius. But this test is more about testing if you're an evil genius. Take a look at these three houses with cars outside them. In one of these houses is a prisoner, but which house is the prisoner in? You need to use really careful logic for this one as it's simple yet really difficult to think of. So without further ado, which house is the prisoner in? A, B or C? I'll give you a little while to work out your evil plan, but pause if you'd like to. Did you work it out? The answer is the criminal is hiding in house A. This is because it's the only house where the car is facing out to the road to make a quick getaway. See what I mean when I said this is really simple and all about logic? But despite the simplicity of this, many overthink it and only the smartest 5% work this one out. Next up we have odd one out. Depending on if and how quickly you get this one, there are different meanings. A genius can crack this code in 10 seconds. Bill Gates worked it out in 20 seconds. Most Harvard students work it out in 40 seconds. If you find it within 2 minutes, then you're among the top 5% of smart people on earth. And if you get it at all, then you're in the top 35% of smart people. So here is the question. Take a look at these 5 shapes. Now work out which one is the odd one out. I'll give you 10 seconds so only geniuses can crack this, but you can always pause it if you want to more time. You 
may think the green one is the answer, as it's the only green one. But the red square is the only one without a border, and the circle is the only circle, and the small one is the only small one. So by process of elimination, we can see the odd one out is actually the only one which isn't the odd one out. This is because there are other red squares that are large and have a border. This means the big red square with a white border is the odd one out, as it's special for not being special. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for how many of these you got right. And guys, definitely check out my new channel, The Crafty. There's going to be a crafty video coming up on screen in a second, so why not click it and check it out. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.